So this is a highly anticipated product in front of me. I've actually talked about it previously on the podcast, long form show. It's in the same territory, the same family as the crazy popular, well-received over ear headphone that Sony put out with a very similar brand name. These ones are actually gonna put active noise cancellation into the earbud. So they're gonna aim to give you noise canceling performance similar to what you would get with a much larger headphone. But if these are anything like the over ear counterpart, then this could be the new go-to. This could be the new champion. It says six hours of battery life plus 18, I believe, the package, the case that these fit into is gonna of course provide you with substantially more battery life than the earbud itself. Sony designed HD noise canceling processor QN1E for high performance noise cancellation and high quality audio slash dual noise sensor technology captures ambient noise precisely with two microphones and a stable wireless connection. USB type C charging, that's a major bonus for me. 10 minute quick charge gives you 90 minutes of play. With noise canceling on, the max listening time is around six hours. And then if you turn noise canceling off, that runtime goes up to eight hours. So it can be uh, eight, eight hours plus 32 with the case if you don't need noise canceling. Ooh, you can see I've got the black model. Will, I believe they come also in a silver? That kind of like gold tan hue. That's the color I have the other ones in. This also looks to be a giant touchpad on the side, which could be nice. This gives you a look right here at that external microphone, picking up noise, figuring things out. By default, when compared to an AirPod, this should isolate sound already better. Throw noise canceling into that as well, and it should be some pretty severe isolation. Ooh, pretty high quality case going on. Just the style I like. Uh, this, like I said, this copper finish on the top, it's a matte finish. By the way, I should probably mention right now, Will, what is our retail price in US dollars? 230 bucks, which is not crazy, actually. You can get AirPods for less if you don't get the wireless charge case. You could go to like 150, 60 bucks, something like that. So they are more, no doubt about it, but noise canceling. So the case pops open like this. As you can see, there's a slot clearly indicate left and right. They've been doing that for ages. Just a little note on Sony here. Like they have been quietly refining these technologies and competing like crazy in these certain technology departments. Now this, which looks like a major player and then similar stuff in the camera department where they're selling pretty much the only point and shoot that you should be interested in. And they're tackling product segments that have incumbent champions and they're dethroning. So well done. I haven't listened to these yet, so I can't say they're gonna be as good as the over ears, but I have pretty high expectations based on that experience. There's an app to connect, and oftentimes I will not download the app alongside some wireless headphones, but in this case, it's a must because the features in there are crazy. The tip selection is cool. Look at that. These are your more typical rubberized, soft touch feel. And then over here, these look like a foam, possibly a comply foam type of tip. It's not like that old school type of foam, but it is different than the, it's softer, I would say, and thicker as well. Like, oh, it's a nice fit. It's a nice fit and a nice presentation. There's a magnet that pulls them in. And now you get this LED light on the front. You have the NFC logo there. That to me indicates that you can pair this up just by touch. I'm very happy right now, I'm very impressed. I'm having a good time. I like the way the package is coming together. Things are looking good. All right, so I've got the app open now. Headphones are blinking blue now. Adaptive sound control. The app detects your actions and automatically adjusts how to take in the ambient sound. So this is the coolest part. If it thinks that you need isolation, based on the surroundings, it'll tweak and toggle up the noise cancellation. It can figure out you're on an airplane and then set up a profile specifically for an airplane because they know what an airplane typically sounds like. You see what I'm saying here? It's very smart, okay? Enabled, good. The app is gonna tell you your battery life on both the left and right unit. The adaptive sound control realizes I'm in one spot, I'm staying, so it has the ambient sound control Ambient sound 20 is what it's set to. So I'm getting get a little bit of ambient sound with a focus on voice. So it's gonna attempt to bring through if somebody tries to speak to you or disrupt you. The next profile is walking in which the ambient sound goes all the way up to 12 
without the focus on voice. We of course have running as well. Ambient sound goes up to 20 and then on transport. So it can tell automatically if you're on a train, bus, and then the noise canceling goes to max. Jack, that's cool, come on. Jack? You can also go into the equalizer, which allows you to really tune in how you want them to sound, depending on the type of music you're listening to. There's a now playing section for whatever it is that you happen to be listening to. There's an automatic pause when the headphones are taken off. There's something called DCHX. I saw that on the box, I didn't know what it was. Will, can you tell me what DCHX is? Wow, okay. So this is a, this is a type of audio processor that aims to take lower fidelity audio and enhance it. I should also mention these have Google Assistant built in, which is my assistant of choice. Okay. So already I'm feeling pretty significant isolation. Catch a couple tunes real quick. Look, if you, you want some bass out of these, feel free. You go in there, you tweak, you toggle, you get. And volume and fullness. And when I tapped it right now, on the other hand, I just got audio feeding through. I can hear myself now and hear the surroundings. So on the pause, you get the feedback coming through because presumably you want to chat. Good, 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 good. Mmm, I can hear you now. If I switch to transit, you're dead. I mean, I can hear you, but but you're dead. It's definitely noise canceling, but it's not as intense as what the over ears are capable of. Okay, say something now. Test, test. Now. Test, test. These are headphones. These are a pair of earphones. This is what you're looking for. They put whatever you might want, they put it there. Oh, you need to hear the people? Okay, you hear the people, okay? You don't wanna hear them, you don't hear them. Oh, you're outside, what are you doing? Mowing the lawn? Okay, that's one thing. Are you on the airplane? That's another. Are you in the coffee shop? We know it before you do. No, the noise canceling is not as intense as the over ear version, but this, look at that. You travel a lot. Those people with those AirPods out there, they're lacking all these features. All right, they're almost at the same price and the sound performance, it just can't compete. I should totally try out the other tips because they look even comfier. See, this material is so squishy. I got the more foamy thing right now, still soft. Uh, I think I, maybe I prefer it. I'm gonna play around with that a little bit, pick my, my perfect fit, but as far as, uh, gym use, activity use, yeah, no problem. They're not, they're not, but actually, I don't know. I probably feel maybe more confident than the AirPod because it's just deeper in the ear canal. Classic rock, fine. Now I should probably go play with the equalizer. Let's see, we have a, some sort of a rock. Mellow, excited. Okay, excited, we're excited. Yeah, they're good, look, they're good. They're good. Do they replace the over-ear model for me? Cause I know a lot of people had to make the choice between the two. I don't think so. That said, if I needed a travel headphone, a one size fits all headphone, a headphone, like I said, for the bag, for a particular clientele, for a certain buyer that, that needs one headphone to do it all, to be portable, to be an earbud, to have noise canceling, to have an astronomical number of features, to have good battery life, multiple fits. Like, I just don't even know what else I would recommend exactly in this department. Look at this, it's got a retro, new. I just, they're doing stuff, good stuff, it's cool. There's a lot going on, good things, a lot of good things.